All right, uh, Jane, hi Jane. Elliot, can you speak to the idea raised by Dan in conversation with Michael Mann about the decadal look back? And what's your opinion on whether that's still helpful or if we're possibly accelerating? Well, let me just um, show you, I'm gonna have to actually bring this up on my own website. All right, so let me tell you what I did here. Um, what I did was I plotted decadal temperature changes. All right, so essentially what I did is if you look at January 1st, 1950 and January 1st, 1960, and you took the difference between those two temperatures, that would be a point on this graph. Then January 2nd, 1950 to January 2nd, 1960, January 3rd to January 3rd, and so on all the way up until whenever I finish, you know, January 1st or of uh, 2020 uh, of 2014 to January 1st of 2024, right? And so each one of the uh, points on this graph represents a gap of 10 years. And then what I did is I said, what is the best linear fit to that, right? And this is the line I got. And that line tells you um, how much the atmosphere is warmed over the last decade, right? It is smoothing out all of these day-to-day -day things and it's saying, look, from if you really um, could zoom in on that, you would see, for example, from 1950 to 1960, we barely had any decadal warming at all. But by the time you got to the, by the time we got to the, um, to the 1980s, we were already at a 10th of degree per decade. And by the time we got to the uh, early 2000s, we were at 0.2 per decade. And if you take that all the way to the present moment and you figure out what that point is, that is 0.3 C per decade, right? And so this graphic um, is part of an article I wrote. Uh, let me just show you where that is. That's on my website. I hope you'll read it. How hot is hell? I mean Earth, where I'm trying to settle the debate about exactly what the current rate of warming is. And so when you look at the decadal timeline, then it is clear that the current uh, rate at which the climate is warming. I mean, this is based on data, not models. This is based on data from 1950. The current rate of warming is 0 0.30 degrees. It just happens to be almost exactly 0 0.30 degrees per decade. And if you forecast that forward, what you find is that the average rate of increase per year in decadal warming is 0 0.005 C which means that in 2025, the decadal rate will be 0.305. And then in 2026, it'll be 0.31. And 2027 will be 0.315. So every year we are gaining 0.005 C of increase in decadal warming. All right, that is what this graph shows. That is accelerated warming. All right, in a nutshell, period, accelerated warming. I'm not looking at models, I'm looking at hard data, right? This is the data, there's no doubt about accelerated warming. Anybody who denies it is just not looking at the data. You can look at your models and say there's not accelerated data, but if you look at the data, it is accelerating. Um, and so if you actually use my model, this model that I'm showing to you, what we do is we get a, um, current global surface temperature, well, for 2023 of 1.38, for 2024 of 1.41, of 2025 for 1.44. Now, of course, 2024 is gonna be warmer than 0.41, but what I'm talking, 1.41, but what I'm talking about is the long-term, um, sort of when someone says, where are we now in the long-term, right? So this model predicts breaking uh, 1.5 in 2027 or 2028 and breaking, uh, breaking 2.0 um, in the, I believe it's in the, gosh, early 2040s, um, but I'd have to double check on that. Um, so yeah, I, uh, that's, that's sort of my opinion about accelerated um, warming. Hopefully that helps you um, with that question.